Hey everyone, Casey here, back at you with another Kane's Wrath match. So, um, I was browsing through my replays the other day, and uh, I saw a match labeled, I own guy with crazy strat. <laughs> so I thought, um, <coughs> that sounds interesting, I'll check it out. So I did, and it was a pretty kiff game. Uh, kiff, by the way, means cool where I am, so just in case you're wondering. Anyway, yeah, it was a pretty cool game. So, <clears throat> yeah, watch and find out. Um, playing here on Tournament Tower. I'm a Nod. I'm Nod, not a Nod. And I'm in pink, because pink's awesome. Um, and you'll see I've just got a power plant and a barracks up. Sold my shredder turrets for the infantry, basically just for scouting purposes. And I've built an engineer and a rocket squad out of my barracks. The engineer, of course, to capture the spike, just to give me a little extra resources early on. And the rocket squad is just to garrison in the center building. <clears throat> yeah! So I hope you guys like Kane's Wrath. Um, I sure don't. <laughs> well, actually, I used to, but sort of pisses me off lately. It, it just gets quite boring. People just do the same stuff online. There's no variety, really. But nonetheless, um, it's it's still a very good game. So yes, I've built a surveyor. And you may be wondering, you may be asking yourself, why has he built a surveyor? People never build surveyors on this map. And yes, hence the fact that this game is called Iron Guy with crazy strat. So yeah, um, <laughs> my surveyor headed out there and I've got an op center up so that can only mean one thing I'm going for the stealth surveyor. I'm gonna cloak it with a cloaking field. Dun, 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 dun. And I've also got my secret shrine up and that is for well you'll see a bit later actually so basically this is one of these strategies where you know if it fails you're screwed you're out of the game if it su succeeds then you've won the game so it's sort of a an all-in strategy if you will which is kinda the way I like to play actually I like to try new shit and uh, try some crazy shit and it just makes the game more interesting and more fun for me. So yeah. <laughs> and I just uh, cloaked my surveyor. It's headed into the corner of his base. He is totally um, unknowing of my surveyor's presence. Which is kind of the whole point of it. So I'm recording with a new mic um, on a different pair of headphones I have just because the other ones, I s for some reason I couldn't get to work on a uh, sound recorder which was really f fucking strange and it was pissing me off a lot last night so um, yeah I just decided to use a different headset and it works so if anyone can tell me why that is please do, if you can't then it's also fine. So anyway, you can see my surveyors behind those trees, clev cleverly positioned behind those trees there. And I mean, what the fuck? Looking at that, y you can't, you can't see that surveyor. You literally cannot see. If I was, if I was that dude, like, wow, well, I'm, I'm just like building a few sh stuff out of my war factory, doing all sorts of shit on my base, and oh my fuck, there's a fucking surveyor behind the tree. You can't even see it. Anyway, so the secret shrine, yes, it was for the disruption tower which I immediately placed because my surveyor is not stealth anymore and I've got a barracks in his base <laughs> crazy barracks in his base and I'm building engineers uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try and cap his construction yard but he kills it with an APC
And my second one goes in for his war factory, which I gladly capture. And I've also captured his crane. <laughs> he is totally he has no no fucking idea what the hell is capturing all his buildings because my engineers also stealth um because they're in the radius of my disruption tower. But uh of course he builds a guardian cannon which can detect stealth. <laughs> but that's alright because it's a little bit far away so he can't see my barracks, which is good and he just you know, rolling around with his predators and stuff. Doesn't have a clue what's going on. Anyway, I'm building my second barracks because I figure the engineers aren't going to be enough. I'm going to need something else to finish this off. Place my second barracks in a minute. There you go. And I'm sort of building rocket squads and I quickly get rid of them and stop building black hand squads. Um, Black Hand are extremely powerful, and they can really just melt a base very quickly. So, I'm I'm in a swat of trouble, and I'm like, my engineer strat's not working. So I turn to Black Hand just to see if I can take him out. Black Hand, and I've got like four four Black Hand infantry squads now. M look how fast that building's health just goes down. It's absolutely crazy. Anyway, it does capture his war factory back, but I'm just gonna melt it in like two minutes anyway so it doesn't really matter that much and yeah it's pretty much the end of the game um, pretty much annihilating him at the moment I sell my one barracks it's just using too much money and he quits out of the game you hear enemy defeated um, so yeah guys this is just quite a funny funny Kane's Wrath match I thought thought I should share with you guys and I encourage you to do similar strategies and it's quite fun because if you can try a crazy strat and you beat someone with it you can laugh about it and you can say I owned you noob and it's fun so yeah guys thanks for watching thanks a lot be sure to check out the Kung Fu Gaming Project please subscribe to my channel guys I need more subscribers so please subscribe and I'll be back with more videos shortly. Um, cheers, guys.